Let us all stand for a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this day all we do, think, and say. Give light to our mind to learn lessons of all kind. Help us to be obedient, truthful, and loving to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, children! Okay, before we start our lesson for today, let us sing a song first. Let us sing, God is good to me. Okay, ready? Sing! God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand and let me say, God is good to me again. God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand and let me say, God is good to me. You can now take your seats. Is there any absent today from this class? Very good. Since nobody is absent today, let us give ourselves five claps. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four. Now before we begin, let us recall what should we do inside our classrooms when we have our lessons. Are you ready? Okay. Number one is be positive and be happy. Number two is be polite and say kind words to your classmates and teacher. Number three is be productive. Number four is to be respectful of your classmates and teachers. And number five is be prepared. Do you understand? Very good. Now let us read the following words with the OI sound. Are you ready? Okay, ready, go. Again. Next. Again. Very good. Enjoy. Again. Next. Again. Okay, very good. Again. Next. Again. Okay, last word. Loin, loin. Again. Okay, very good. Now, before we continue, I will introduce to you two new words. This is a bar graph. It is a report about numbers that uses rectangles called bars. This is a table. It is also a report that uses numbers to describe something. I repeat, this is a bar graph. Can you repeat that? Again, bar graph. Very good. This is a table. Table. Again. Okay, very good. Now, let me read to you a story. But before I do that, let us recall the guidelines in listening to a story. What is the first step in listening to a story? Yes, Joan. Okay, sit properly and listen carefully. What is the next step? Krisa May. Identify the character and the setting. The character is, are the persons in the story and the setting is the time and place of the story. Very good, Krisa May. What is the last step? Yes, Cheska. Okay, very good. Now, let me read to you the story. The title of the story is The Blessing of Nature. Okay. Mang Pedring is a farmer. His wife, Aling Fe, is a vendor in the market. They have two children, and they love their children very much. On Monday, 
Mang Pedrin and Aling Pe sold 20 vegetables. On Wednesday, they sold 30 vegetables. On Friday, they sold 50 vegetables in the market. They kept their money to buy food for their family. Mang Pedrin and Aling Pe love their family very much. Now that ends our story for today. Now let us go back to the story. Who are the characters in the story? Yes, Daniela. The characters in the story are very good. Who can repeat the answer of Daniela? Angelito. The characters. Okay, very good. What is the work of Mang Pedrin? What is the work of Mang Pedrin? Yes, Krisha Faye. Very good. What is the work of Aling Fe? Yes, Natalie. Excellent. Now, do Mang Pedrin and Aling Fe love their children? Of course, yes. Now, what happens when Mang Pedrin did not plant any vegetables in his farm? What do you think will happen? Okay, I will repeat the question. What will happen if Mang Pedrin did not plant any vegetables in his farm? Yes, Cheska. Yes, very good. They will not sell any vegetables in the market. And what happens if they don't have any vegetables to sell in the market? What will happen to their family? Yes, Carmen. Of course, they won't have money to buy their important needs. Very good. Okay. So let us always remember that nature can always help us. We can always plant vegetables and fruits so that we can have something to eat or we can sell those fruits and vegetables to the market so that we can have money and buy our important things in our homes. Do you understand? Okay, now let us go back once again to the story. How many days did Mang Pedrin and his wife sold vegetables in the market? Yes, Chini May. Okay, who can help Chini May? How many days did Mang Pedrin and his wife sold the fruits in the market? Yes, Jasmine. Very good. They sold their vegetables for three days. On Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday. Very good. Next question. How many vegetables did Mang Pedro sell on Monday? Yes, Jasper. Okay, very good. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sell on Wednesday? Daniel. Okay, who can help Daniel? Yes, Janet. Okay, Mang Pedrin sold 30 vegetables on Wednesday. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sell on Friday? Yes, Alexis. Very good. They sold 50 vegetables on Friday. Now we know the number of vegetables Mang Pedrin and Aling Fe sold for three days. There are two ways to show the number of vegetables sold. This is called a bar graph. Everybody say bar graph. Okay, very good. A bar graph is a report that shows numbers in the form of rectangles called bars. 
we have to draw bars for every day mang pedrin sold vegetables. So let us first draw a bar for Monday. How many vegetables did mang pedrin sold on Monday? James. Mang Pedrin sold vegetables. Oh, I'm sorry. Mang Pedrin sold how many vegetables? Okay, very good. 20 vegetables. Now, now that we know that Mang Pedrin sold 20 vegetables on Monday, we have to draw the bar for it. We have to align the bar to the correct number of vegetables sold. So as you can see, the top of the bar is aligned to 20 because Mang Pedrin sold vegetables, sold 20 vegetables on Monday. Do you understand? Okay, let us proceed to Wednesday. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sold on Wednesday? Chrisame. Mang Pedrin sold how many vegetables he had? Very good. Mang Pedrin sold 30 vegetables on Wednesday. Now, we have to draw a bar for Wednesday also. Okay. As you can see, the top of the bar for Wednesday is aligned to 30. Let us go to Friday. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sold on Friday? Kathleen. Mang Pedrin sold how many vegetables? 50. Now, we have to draw a bar for Friday also. As you can see, the top of the bar for Friday is aligned to... Just remember, in making bar graphs, you have to identify the numbers to be used. After that, you have to draw the bars that are aligned to the correct numbers in the graph. Do you understand? Okay, there's also another way to show the numbers. This is called a table. It also shows information about numbers. Let us fill in the correct information from the story. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sold on Monday? Yes, Margie Rose. Mang Pedrin sold 20 vegetables. Okay. So we have to write down 20 for Monday because Mang Pedrin sold 20 vegetables on Monday. Now, how many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sold on Wednesday? Blair May. Mang Pedrin sold how many vegetables? 30 vegetables. Remember to answer in a complete sentence, just like what Blair May did. Mang Pedrin sold 30 vegetables on Wednesday. So we have to write down 30 for Wednesday. How many vegetables did Mang Pedrin sold on Friday? James Carr. Excellent. So we have to write 50 for Friday because Mang Pedrin sold 50 vegetables on Friday. In writing information in tables, you just have to write the correct number. Do you understand? Now, let us have a group activity. I will group you into two and I will give you an empty bar graph and a table. I will also give you a card that has a story in it and I want you to read the story very carefully. Do you understand? And after you finish reading the story, you have to fill in the correct numbers and bars for the bar graph and the table. But before we do that, let us recall the guidelines in conducting or doing a group activity. What is the first step in doing a group activity? Yes, Sophia Faith. Very good. Read the directions carefully. What are the other steps? 
Si es Jan Silvian. Okay, next. Alray. Very good. Jasper. Next. Heidi Shane. And what is the last step? Andrea. Very good. You have five minutes to read the story and fill in the necessary information for the bar graphs and the tables. Row one, group one rather, and group two. Okay, your timer starts now. Yes, there's also a card. You have to read the story first before writing on the on the table and drawing the bars in the bar graph. Yes. Are you all finished? Very good. You can now go back to your seats. Before we answer our activity, kindly give to me the bar graphs and the tables. Group 1. Group 2. Okay. Kindly help me post this on the board. Okay. These are the works of group 1 and group 2. They both have bars for their bar graphs and numbers for their tables but before we answer our activity let us read the story first the title of the story is ate charing's pet shop everybody read ready go She has 20 cats, 40 dogs, 15 birds, 10 turtles, and 25. Okay, last sentence. Okay, very good. Now, we have to identify the numbers in the story. So there are 20 cats, 40 dogs, 15 birds, 10 turtles, and 25 fishes. Now, we have to use those numbers in the bar graphs and the table. So, let us check your work. Let us begin with group 1's bar graph. Are the bars aligned to the correct number for every pet? Let us check. There are 20 cats, 40 dogs, 15 birds, 10 turtles, and 25 fishes. Correct. Let us check their table. The numbers are also correct. So group 1, both have correct answers for their bar graph and tables. Let us give them 5 claps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let us proceed to group 2's bar graph. Are the bars aligned to the correct number for every pet? Yes. What about their table? Okay, group 2 did a great job as well. So let us give them 5 claps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let us go back to what we learned today. What are the two ways to show information about numbers? Sophia Faye. Very good. We can show information about numbers through the use of bar graphs and tables. Now, what do we have to remember in creating bar graphs? What is the first step? Cheska. We have to identify the numbers to be used. Very good, Cheska. What is the next step? Hazel. Draw the bars aligned to the correct number in the graph very good what do we have to remember in writing information in a table yes daniel we just have to write the correct number do you understand class this is an activity sheet 
write your name on the top of the paper and kindly read the story. After reading the story, fill in the necessary information in the bar graph and in the table at the next page. Do you understand? Okay, bring out your pencils and let us begin our activity. Row 1. Row 2. Row 3. Row 4. You can now start answering your sheets. Is everybody finished in answering their activity sheets? Okay, if you are finished, clap five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, collect the activity sheets and give it to me. Group one, thank you. Row two, thank you. Row three, thank you. Row four, thank you. Okay, let us check your activity sheet. But before we do that, let us read the story first. Okay. Kuya Dindo's Bakery. Ready? Read. Kuya Dindo loves to eat bread. He likes to eat them in the morning. One day, he opened a bakery. On the first day, he baked 20 pandesal, 15 monai, 10 ube, and 25 pande cocos. Everybody loves to eat Kuya Dindoy's bread. Now let us make a bar graph based from the story. Are you ready? Okay. How many pandesal did Kuya Dindoy bake? He baked 20 pandesal. So the bar for pandesal should be aligned to 20. How many monites did Kuya Dindoy bake? He baked 15 monai. Okay, very good. The bar for monai should be aligned to 15. What about the ube? He baked 10 ubes. So the bar for ube should be aligned to 10. What about the pandikokos? How many pandikokos did Kuya Dindoy bake? Kuya Dindoy baked 25 panikoko. So the bar for panikoko should be aligned to 25. Now let us fill in the correct information for the table. How many pandesals did Kuya Dindoy bake? 20. So we have to write down 20 for pandesal. What about the monai? 15. What about for ube? Kuya Dindoy baked 10 ubes. How many panikokos did Kuya Dindoy bake? 25. Okay, very good. Now, for your assignment, I want you to answer this activity sheet. You have to write your name first. Read the story. And once you finish reading the story, you have to fill in the necessary information in our table. Do you understand? Okay. Answer it in your homes and we will check it tomorrow. Group 1. Group 2. Group 3. And Group 4. Pack your things and let us all stand for our closing prayer. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us for all the things we've done today. Watch us, Lord, on our way and take us home safely. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children! Hey guys, and you just watched another episode from the Shugo Demonstration Teaching Series by Chernil. At para sa lesson plan and instructional materials, ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. At para sa lahat ng mga videos ko tungkol sa Depa Granting, lesson plan tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, iiwan ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Chernil. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!
Thank you.